Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a basket for your doll using some hot glue. And I just bought this. It's really cute. And some thin cardboard like a cereal box or or one of these candy boxes. Sour patch. They're so yummy. And some yarn. So first you will have to cut out all the sides of your cardboard. You only need just enough to trace out your piece and I think that's all I need. Then you're going to get a pen or pencil. First, you're going to trace a, rect a rectangle on your piece of cardboard. And that's going to be the bottom of your um, basket. Then you're going to draw some tabs out. And you might want to make it a little bigger than this. I think I make it too small. But I'm just going to show you the step of how to make it. And you can make it bigger or smaller, however you like it. Then you're going to cut out, cut it out. And it's actually not that long to make this. It doesn't take that much time. Then you're going to fold in the sides, fold in the tabs. So that you have something like this. And then you are going to cut out strip. And remember, when you cut it, you don't want all the sides to have the equal same um, same number of strip or else it will keep on continuing the same pattern and it won't go through all of the parts of the strip. So, so you're going to choose only one, one pair. So let's say I choose this two. So I'm just going to make this two long flap equal so one two three four so I cut four cut there so I'm going to go ahead and cut four cut here one two three and four then I'm I might want to cut four cut here and three cut here one two or maybe just one cut or maybe one and two cut like this two flap here it might be a little too small okay then you're going to get your yarn start at one of the edge hold it in place and continue the pattern you're going to go back and forth, back and forth, and keep on doing that until you reach the top so that you will have something like this. And I've cut out a piece of cardboard and put some um, cotton, use some cotton and fabric to make this little thingy to go at the bottom. So that you have something like this. And you can add some food in it. On my other video, I've showed you how to make these adorable cookie for your doll. It's real, it looks so realistic. You could go ahead and place it there. 
Then you're going to cut out a long strip. Well, it's just enough to be the handle. And again, get some yarn. And then just go all around it, like that, until you finish and have this. So that when I hot glue it together, it will be something like this. And I could go ahead and open my hot glue gun. I just bought this yesterday. And I'm really happy about it because it even matches my bed color. Eh. Go ahead and check it out. Untie it and plug this thing on in. I should have done this earlier. Then you're going to cut open this hot glue bag. Stuff this in here. I should have done it earlier so you don't have to wait for it to melt. But while waiting for this, I'm going to show you how to make just quickly um, tell you how to make these cookie and um, Oreo. So I've used clay and a marker for, for this Oreo. All I did is cut my clay pieces into circle, stack it together, and use a brown marker and use the ink of the brown marker to make the cookie. And I wanted it to be a strawberry one, so I've used a pink marker to make the cream. And just put it all together. And for the cookie, I've used clay and paint. I just cut out a circle piece of clay, mix some green paint with white paint so that it will have a light color, and then use the same color of the green that is dark, and then you just mix and white to make some of the sprinkle. And I think my hot glue is ready. I could go ahead and secure the two ends somehow. It won't come out. What the heck is wrong? Oh, now it come out. I'm gonna secure the end and make sure not to burn your hand. Then you're going to add some glue on the two side. Oh, these things are so stretchy. Add some on the end. Oh my gosh. That's what I don't like about hot glue then. And then just place it on the other side of your basket. And you are done. You have created a cute little basket for your doll. It's really easy. And my doll could go ahead and carry it around. And I just made her this really cute dress. And it's stretchable on the top. Okay. Bye guys, thanks for watching.